Welcome back guys, episode 16. Uh, if you've seen the last episode, you'll see I made a bit of a blunder. Um, after grape research and looking into more to grapes and olives, I discovered a few tips and tricks and one or two downloads that's going to help me now. So, we're starting again. The main problem I had was with the machinery I was using, I planted the grapes and olives, which cost me somewhere around the $400,000 mark. I had planted them 2.6 metres apart, and the machinery I couldn't get to fit. Um, it was either too small or, or too wide. Now with it being too small, I would have to go each and every side of the vine to mulch it and uh, cultivate it. So it was taken twice the amount of time. So I'm going to replant them now. We're almost back there. We're just going past the beautiful foreshore. Let's have a quick little look here. This is the, the touristy foreshore and we've got all our restaurants and and bars and all stuff over here. The pub's been built. So a touristy foreshore just here. And you've got a fishing wharf. And you throw your line in. You've got some nice rainbow trout in here. So it's nice and clean. Um, up over here on the hill there, we're going to do some hotels and make it a real touristy sort of place um, all around this lake. So, yeah, might even get some Lake Sturgeon in there. Um, I just got this bike here, so when I'm on it, and I'm doing construction, it just takes me straight to the area. So all this area here is going to be hotels and some camping areas down around here. And basically, touristy area is going to take up from this road, um, this whole block, right down to the foreshore there. So lots of building to do, but lots of money to make before I do it. So um, we may even have a residential little area just in this pocket. But we'll see as we go, as the build continues. We've got a nightclub here, and we've got an outdoor restaurant. And yeah, it's all coming together rather nicely. Slowly but surely. We'll get off the bike. So yeah, just wanted to have a quick, quick little look at the foreshore there. And uh, back to business. This um, this little Ladini, I thought the small tractors in the game, instead of using these, which I don't really like and they seem to be top heavy, um, I went and bought a small tractor and <laughs> this, this looks like a, a miniature Lego toy compared to even the smallest tractor that we have in game. And here we are at the farm grapes and olives we're just about to lay them down and we've also got please don't double gate okay cool so we got one in and one out got the grape processing ready to go we've put that down so put the grapes in here and I'll come out here I'm um, gonna do olive oil and uh, grape juice so that's two more productions that brings us up to 23 productions <laughs> it's just ridiculous just far too many but it, it's it's a lot of hard work so what I've done I've destroyed all that I had here and I realized that this bit of land as you can see here you can't get rid of it it's just glitched into the game so I decided to build around it and just so I can get the uh, the grapes the grapevines in a dead straight line. I've put a starter line that I'm going to follow. Because um, as you know, we were on a slight little angle last time. So olives this side, grapes this side. And um, I've got a starter run for, for both of them. So actually while I'm here, we're going to lay them down into orchards. Now, I've, I've got these ones where you can vary the widths. Um, 4.5 meters, 4 meters, 375, 3525, blah blah blah, all the way through. So we are going to run these ones. Um, 
I'm not going to use the cheap olive oils, uh, the, the cheap olive orchards, and I'm not going to use the cheap grapevines. It's a mod that I was advised to download, but it doesn't give you distances, it just makes it cheaper. I don't want to do it cheap, I want to do it as realistic as possible. So these are the in-game ones, and I'm not going to use the standard in-game ones. Um, two metres is the widest that we can go. So we're going to do 1.8 on the grapevines. We're going to start right on the end. And we're going to run this first one. And we're going to stop. Hmm. A little bit past the end. I didn't count on that. We're going to make sure we started in the middle and we'll finish in the middle. And we shouldn't have any problems anymore. So there we go. The next one should automatically line up. And it does. And this has now given us the distances. So you can move it out from it. Highly advisable not to. What I might do is start from the, the exact same end each time. As you can see, they're about $15,000 to lay each row. Well, 16, 3, 8, and there's no gap. So it, that's a lot better. Um, we're still having the problem. So before I start these, I don't know if these grape areas are going to grow. Just because if you look at the ground there, you can see it funny now. I've tried to flatten the land to get rid of this strange stuff. It just doesn't go and it's part of the map. It's glitched. It's glitched in part of the map for some reason. Um, not bagging out Alien Jim because No Man's Land is my number one favourite map and always has been. I've built this map so many times in FS19. So I, I know the contour of this map back to front. I know every lump and bump that this map has, I know where all the good building areas are, um, I know where all the best places are for, for that sort of stuff. It's just because I've done it so many times. Uh, I think I built somewhere around the 30, the 30 farm mark um, on FS19. Uh, I th think I'll leave that, that line there, I'm not going to go any further that way. As you can see, these are expensive, this is a lot of money. But, I'm hoping to get good return back from it. Now we're running into the same problem with a small area there of the vines. They may not grow. Um, I don't care. I don't care if they don't grow. I really don't. This says distance too short now. Okay, we got away with it. I'm just going to persist and, um, and not let it worry me too much so episode 15 uh, was was not a good episode we had all sorts of dramas uh, this is episode 16 right now so the episode before this one was a real headache right, we've done some research and we've made an amends and for some reason just here we've gone a little bit astray I don't know how but we have and that's it that's our grapevines We're not having any more than that and they are at two meter widths or 1.6 and I think we'll do the same with the olives three point two and they only get wider okay we want to it must be this one, no, because that's the cheap one. Olives are a little bit different, I guess. So we did 3.2 is going to do it. And it's just because I have a distance marker there. How close are we to the end? We're right on it. So, right on the end. 
Okay, now that's running a nice straight line. We'll bring them to there. My God, that was expensive. Come on now, play nicely, please. Alright, we should be alright. $23,000 a row. <laughs> Almost $24,000 a row. Ridiculous. So I click the button here, and it will automatically put the distance out. If I've done it right. We've not done it right. This is very, very frustrating. <sighs> Persist. We just chucked away twenty-three and a half thousand dollars. Doesn't like me deleting them. The FPS is getting real laggy. Doesn't like me deleting it whatsoever. And they're a nightmare. But I guess once they're down, they're down. So. Oh man. Um, when you get FPS problems like this, it generally leads to a game crash. Not always, but generally. Well, they seem straight, so I don't know what happened there. We're going to persist. Let's try coming from the other side. 3.2. So you can't you can't waver it so please please game please okay that one seems fine it's done it again this is um this is really frustrating really is, it is really frustrating. Let's see if this road does it again. Look, they're just gonna do it. I don't, I just, I don't care anymore. I just don't, I just. You get perfect wits and it, and it doesn't, it doesn't even work. Like, like everything with farming simulator games, Nothing works. Mods conflict. Giants don't care. They just allow any and every mod into the game. They just, they don't give a rat's ass. You know, we're going to put them down. I'm going to be done with it. You can probably hear the disappointment in my voice. Because I am disappointed. Because what I found is that when you get gaps in between rows like this, you have to cultivate both sides, you know, so you have to go up, cultivate this side, come down, cultivate that side, go up, cultivate that side, come down, cultivate this side, go up, cultivate that side. You should just make one pass down the centre, come down this one, go up that one, come down this one, you know, it, it just, man, very frustrating, very frustrating this game. The very first thing I have to do, because of the, the glitchy patch, and we'll have a look at the PDA here, just, just to uh, show you. There's that bit of, I cannot, I cannot get rid of this glitchy part here. It just doesn't, just doesn't, it just won't do it. I dug the land down, I flattened the paddock out, I ploughed over it, I've cultivated it, I've done everything, I've painted over it. And this is the result of it. Now, I did fix it up. If you remember from last episode, it was a big, massive square area, probably like right down to about here. 
that was just all dead straight away and it wouldn't grow, it would just leave a blank. When all the other grapes were growing, it, they looked like this just completely blank. So I'm going to chop these out straight away. Hopefully that may fix the problem. We'll just drop our tools off in here. Oh no you don't. Okay. I'm just going to drop this off. Oh, just smashed into my new fence. I'm going to leave that there. Should line this up properly. There's only a couple of rows, so it shouldn't be a big big deal and off we go <laughs> I'm getting frustrated already I, I wonder if I should have even bothered with grapes but you guys suggested it and <laughs> I'm trying to give you uh, trying to give you content that that you want so Trying to give you the content you want to see. Oh dear lord. <laughs> Do you know what? We're not going to fit down here. Oh yes we are. This is ridiculous. Maybe I should have gone for the wider one. I wonder if the workers are going to have issues. This, the, if I if I delete these vineyards, I'll never do them again. So I'm, I'm going to do my best to try and make this work for you. But this is two times now. Now, fill me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. There won't be a third, is what I'm saying. I'll just delete them and turn this into um, an NPC's farm or something. Or just leave them here and just be done with it. Turn it into an NPC bankrupt farm or something. Abandoned. I can put up with a few dead spots like this just because it's not actually it's not actually the fault of the vines themselves it's actually the ground um, that alien Jim when he built the map he put a vineyard here in this area a smaller one obviously and but when you start um, when you don't when you don't start on new farmer, it still thinks, I guess, it still thinks that the vineyards are here, so, um, you know, I can handle that, no problems. Okay, two to go. So, I bought a, a Libra, a Libra, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's a it's a brand I'm not familiar with, but I got a small tractor, open cab. One of the old school ones I remember growing up with, um, but they were international. They were called international where I come from. Uh, so I bought one of them, and just looking at them, uh, it shows just how big a small tractor is compared to these. <laughs> These, these are just tiny. And I need 
think we'll go about our business now and um, we'll cultivate each row. Let's hope this is going to work. If this is 1.8 metres wide and the rows I put down were two, so this better work. Because I've had enough disappointment with uh, olives and grapes for now. Actually, we've got to go down that outside row, don't we? Let's just send a worker on his way. The worker can't handle it. Yeah, worker can't handle it. Okay, I'll have to do it myself. As usual with this game. Gotta do everything yourself. We'll call it so far so good, I guess. Yeah, workers workers have no idea. He's useless. Absolutely useless. Right, I guess it's a break from standard crops. And we just finished potato harvest. 394,000 litres we got. Um, at the end of today, it's 3 o'clock. So when we bug down in the farmhouse tonight, we get up tomorrow, we'll have uh, wheat to do and corn's done so we'll have wheat and the sugar beets will be ready to be done as well is this going to work it doesn't seem like it so even after researching even after researching and going off all the advice i've got off everyone and the distances it still doesn't it just doesn't work i just i cannot get rid of this this glitched out area it's a struggle we can't even fit in between here so I put down two metre widths and this is a 1.8 cultivator why it doesn't work I don't know so I'm just gonna try one final thing before I give up on them and just delete them totally this is the last time I'm gonna do this so that was two meters. We have to buy one that uh, is shorter, uh, 1.8 perhaps. Where's the real small one? That is not it. It's 1.5. I guess we're just going to use this. I guess we'll just use that one. Because um, I'm sick and tired of spending. The, I mean, this has cost me eight hundred thousand dollars to do this, and this is the second time I've had to do it. And there won't be a third. There really won't. There will not be a third. This is the last time I'm going to try. If this fails, I'm done. If this fails, I'm done. As you can see, man. <laughs> It's a tiny little baby compared to the smallest tractor in the game. The smallest standard tractor. So, wow. I bought this thinking, you know, it might be able to, might be able to use that instead. But no, you definitely have to, to use the Landinis. There we go, back to the field again. Okay, uh, warehousing's done for the day, the animals have been fed, uh, we got some servicing to do over there, plus fueling up for tomorrow's harvest, uh, but we've got plenty of time, so I want to get these up and underway. Um, if this fails me, I'm just going to abandon the farm up here, 
and just go back to standard and I'll just leave them there forever and not touch them again. Uh, I spent four hours yesterday after episode 15 getting all the advice, watching all the videos, seeing how everyone else did them because I've never done them before and still uh, following downloading mods that they advise to download and tried everything just doesn't work. I would have had the, the bakery built now and the pub that we're going to go to would have had all of that built with the $800,000 that I've spent two times over. Very disappointing. It's, it's taken me three years in game to make that money and now it's all gone just for nothing. So it's very, very disappointing. I like our foreshore though, that's come up rather well. All the nightlife area, fishing wharves, we've got some hotels we're going to put up on the hill over there, so it's going to be a big touristy area. That pub would have been all finished, but instead I've sunk $800,000 into this bloody place, and it's done nothing to give me grief and headache. If this fails me, I'm done. I am just going to abandon this completely and utterly. I'm just, I'll be done with it. Okay, I'm done with it. That's it. Yep, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I'm gonna get out. I am done. I'm done with this place. I'm done with it. That's it. I will never do this again. Sold. Sold. I'll get my money back here. I am I am totally done with grapes and olives. Sorry guys. I will not do them again. You asked for it, I tried to assist, I've tried everything, and I'm just done with it. Absolutely, totally done with it. What else do we have here? Um, we sold the weight. I think that should be it. Oh, the Landini. Two. You. And I no longer lead, need that one. I'll just take a quick run up here. I'm leaving them. I'm not touching them. I'm not going to delete them. I've got um, $100,000 sunk in here for liquid fertilizer. I've got a great processing unit over there. It's just. It's just frustrating. It just really makes me mad. I'm gonna just make this a an NPC's bloody farm. I'll shut the shed. I'll shut it all up. I could just delete these buildings, but I've almost got my eight hundred thousand back, so Oh. Let's get rid of that too. That is place is now abandoned and I'm done with it. I am so done with it. That's it. I really see or oh, this is all glitched. It's all glitched real bad. These rows they wouldn't line up properly. Two of them. I even put markers down. If you watch the beginning of the episode you'll see how I had set it all up. I followed everything to the letter to a T. I can't even fit between these rows now. So I'm going to delete all those mods I, I, um, I'm going to delete all the mods that I downloaded just to make this easier. And that's just going to stay there as a decorative, decorative farm, I guess. Um, and just be done with it. We're out of here. We're out of here. Uh, this is our high reach. We need this in the warehouse. So... We're going to drive this down the road. And we'll just take this straight to the warehouse. It allows us to get um, triple and quadruple pallets up on the shelving. It's, um, this warehouse mod is absolutely brilliant. And this is an electric, so we've already put down an electric charger at the warehouse in the parking area outside for the forklifts. We're nearly there. 
Whoops, microphone just dropped out of me. Um, and I guess we'll just do a real quick um, service on a couple of trailers and fuel up a couple of in, uh, implements and, um, and go to sleep for the night. <coughs> Sorry if I've disappointed anyone with the grapes and olives, but it just... I've, yeah, I've tried everything. I mean, it's, yeah, it's very disappointing. I tried everything. I want to try and knock this loan down a bit. I, I think we'll keep 200,000 um, for service and fuels. Oh, now it's going to save. Oh, I've got some of the money back, but we're going backwards every day. Six and a half thousand dollars every day. I'll just keep that there, uh, just in case. We should be right at the end of harvest. We've got some good money to be made. Most of our production is up and underway. Here we are now, just arriving. <laughs> 14k an hour, it's a slow, very, very slow, uh, see there's a gate I have to install while this is going up. So this, this I'm very impressed with, the warehouse, what an incredible mod, I, it is just wow absolutely 100% fully operational now obviously this gate has to stay here for uh, security reasons but while I'm here uh, I think it's tools no, it, oops. Must be container. No, it's not. Oh, will it come under fences? It may do. There's a barrier. It's supposed to be automatic, so I don't have to, there it is here. What's that one? 10 meter, 8 meter, 6 meter. Okay. Now this has to go in front here. So it would actually come from this way and lift up that way. Uh, let's try the 8 metre one and let's have a look at the 10. I think the 8 was probably more realistic. I want to make sure it's square, and it, and it wasn't. If that's automatic, I'll keep it, and if it's not, I'm going to just delete it. I'm sick of mods in this game that claim to do something and they don't, so we're going to see if it works. I mean, that gate's great for security. However, it's not very good when you have to manually keep getting out to open and close it when you lock it down at night. It's all part of the realism, I guess. All right, moment of truth. Will this automatically open up? You taking money bets, people, or? I've got 10 bucks on it saying no, it won't. It does this way. Jesus, three and a half ton. And it does not automatically open up. So when we delete something, we just say Salada, you're out of there. And another mod to uninstall that claims to do something that it doesn't. Once again, 
Giants software, you're in fine form. Your mod testing is just exceptional quality. Uh, very disappointing. You know, you think they'd look after their game a lot better. You'd think they would. Anyway, that's enough bashing. They know they're no good. Absolute amateurs. I'm not knocking the modder. I'm knocking giants. Mods put mods out there. It's up to giants to test them. So in here, we can actually get right up and above all of our pallets if, we, if we're going to start double and triple stacking. Look at this. I should have put the lights on inside, but whatever. Here we go right up. Woo! One, two, yeah, we'll get the third pallet. So, very happy with that. Uh, it's mainly will be for wool. We want to get four high with the wool. And our wool trailer should be on the dock, it is. So we'll just leave this fella over here. And we'll be able to get these all nicely stacked up now. And up to the roof. And when we want, we can go and deliver. What a great mod this is. This is incredible. The dock all works just like real life. I should have put the uh, lights on. It works exactly like real life. Exactly. Yes. What a mod. Every door, everything in this place is fully operational. Everything. <laughs> Extremely impressive mod. Like, wow. One of the best. All the racking works. The FPS doesn't drop. Let's flick the lights on. Let there be light. Um, they don't jitter around. They don't. They don't crash. The FPS is fantastic. May as well set this trailer up too. And then we've got our produce trailer over in the truck yard. There you go. Even the weight of it just knuckled down the trailer. So it's just everything is just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. This is all the honey. That's ambient. Flowers ambient. Wool's all dry. We've got... Uh... Oh, we already started. This is the chiller room in here. Uh, strawberries. And this is butter. Unsalted butter. It's got to go up on the rack over here. I'm going to just put them in this area. So... Um, and milk will go over here and as long as uh, along that wall as well so anyway great mod love it I like showing it off every time I come in here it's, I just like it that much it's brilliant it's for realism play it's second to none okay let's skip a oh that's right we're making a new field weren't we I forgot I started this one. I was so tired yesterday. Um, yeah, so we do we do an outline border, and the best secret trick to it all is we don't need to use a plow anymore. So we'll just we'll go and drop the plow off and there's an implement I'm going to buy which which is only used for field creating it's a cultivator field, field creator cultivator uh, but it's not advisable to use it for normal cultivating um, because the the workers just chop fields up all over you all over the place so we'll just put this away cotton's growing it's looking good Ooh, it's getting close as soon as I can harvest this we're gonna be rich we're gonna have plenty of money
I locked everything away because of the snow. Well, we won't need the plow again. So we'll just tuck this in the back corner down here. And the snow came, we had to lock everything up. Well, it's not going to let us jump up. Sometimes it lets us jump up and actually get in there. Alright, so we're going to reset this. And we're going to do a field creation that is easier than anything we've ever done uh, for creating fields uh, cultivator. I think it's 246,000, somewhere around there. Field creator mod, there it is there. You got one here that doesn't have, this one says field creator at the end. That one hasn't got it, but even that one that doesn't have it will still send the workers mm -hmm. out to, um, to chop all your, your fields up. Very disappointing. I think we'll go with, I think we'll go with that. No, I think I'll do it the other way around. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Right, I'm so disappointed. Oh man. Uh, where are we? Just over here. Uh, yeah. So, so this is um, this is cotton. We'll just come across here. This is cotton. So we've harvested these three, the potatoes we've harvested, that was potato as well, these are sugar beet. I'm going to um, make these three fields cotton, so all my cotton will be all together, and I'll move the standard crops onto these. I've, I've ploughed these up, but I might run them for potato again, not next season, but the season after, so um, yeah, that's the plan. And it should, it should work. If all goes well. All right, quick zip back to the farm. I'll get some fuel while I'm here actually. 183,000. Alright, that's fueling up. Uh, okay, just service needed. So we'll service. Six grand, my god. 73, that's alright. 108, 19, alright. We're all serviced. That can go back to the farm. I should service the fence too, it's down halfway. We're, we're working it, so. Once again, 800 grand. Gone. Move this out of the way. We had to service this because it's our feed trailer. It's our feed trailer on there. this 
Oh my god, and twelve thousand dollars. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, well, everything's expensive. But now we have peace of mind, so I guess I guess we're valid. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Let's have a look at our produce. I don't need the whirly birds on in here. That's our bale shed. It's only got straw in it. Yeah, nothing to do over here. And we do got to service our trailers there though. But not right now. Finish this field, should take just a few minutes. It's 18.2 metres wide. Um, not advisable to use as a standard cultivator, only as a field creator uh, to create fields. And, and definitely not with a worker, so you put a worker on it and it'll just It'll just zigzag all over the map in all directions and just chop the hell out of the fields and cut cut up all your everything you do. It'll just run through everything and just make it just destroy it. So it's not not advisable at all. Sugar beets are not far off. Eighteen point two meters. Pure power. So we're just going to line up with the the knobby on the end of the tractor here, and our bonnet scoop right there. And if you look at that from inside the cab, and you see the lines in the in the ploughed state, that's how you know you're going to stay straight. The implement behind you will follow you. So I just go forward a bit. I'll just line this up. Now the reason I'm doing this is well, I'm not going to worry about it actually. I've, I'll just continue to plough the field and um, and then we'll come back and put this in a cultivated state with the red uh, case and with that cultivator there. I could probably send him on his way as we're doing it too, so why not? I'll just drop this down, and as you can see, it gives a cultivated state, but it also creates fields. So it's it's a fantastic mod. 18.2 metre plough, you could call it, that leaves it in a cultivated state. Yet yeah, can't rate it enough. We'll just stop there for a moment. I may as well send him out to cultivate it and it'll be half done before I'm finished. And this is 12 metres I believe. I can't remember now. It's not a cultivator that I generally use. I think it's a 12 metre. Let's come back a little. And we'll send him on his way. Off you go, son. Get to work. Paying your wages. So I hit the circle button there to... Okay, he almost stopped. Um, that's a worker I've got in the fence as well. He's creating the field, but you've got to you've got to watch him. 
and you have to stop them and turn them around and you can set them off again. So this just gives you me a bit of a break. Our worker will turn around and cultivate as per normal. It's just this one in the fence. So we have to manually turn him around and then send him back the other way. And unless we do it ourselves, of course. So hit the circle button now and we'll just spin around. You don't even have to really line it up, you just circle now, worker will do it. It's just as long as you sort of get it close. Um, having an overlap of uh, even a bit wider than that is fine, so it's always advisable to have a small overlap. In that painted green grass there between all the field grass. I do that to shape the field. Um, I go on paint and then I, I pretty much just paint the field shape that I want until it's right. And, uh, and then I start working on it. So I'm sort of not just trying to wing a new field just, you know, off the cusp. And it gives me the fields that I want. So it's, it's not a small field, it's not huge, but it's decent enough and it'll crop well. And we've pretty much put our land to good use. I'm gonna have bush all throughout here, especially up here in all of these areas where there was originally bush. Um, I'll be replacing that, but with the Aussie trees. So trying to make this as Australian as I can, given the mods. And we also have um, Southern Cross map out now, which is New South Wales, Australia map. And uh, I like it, I like it a lot, it's great. I don't know whether I like it because I'm Australian and it's an Australian map or whether because the map is actually pretty cool. Look at this idiot over here. Right, I'm gonna stop this worker and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend money on a fucking idiot, all right? I'm not gonna spend money employing fuckwits on my farm, right? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. So we're gonna park this up and, uh, and I'll just finish the, uh, the border myself. Just the workers in this game haven't improved not one bit. They can do more tasks as in drive vehicles on painted road maps like Elm Creek and stuff. But you know, whoop de do, whoop de bloody do. They still can't do basic, simple field work. And that's a letdown. Yeah, it's a big letdown. Okay, enough whinging. It won't get any better until Giant Software gets some sort of competition with this game. So, get used to it. Because things aren't gonna change. So this mod's pretty cool, field creator, cultivators. Um, it plows and leaves it in a cultivated state. How cool is that? Very, very cool. So you can just straight up create your field without plowing uh, a borderline like I did, but I just like to, to mark the borderline out, just for peace of mind. Just how I do things in my methodical way. And that, this needs an overlap. If you look up the field, you'll see this line has been cut in by one row and where, where minus one row. So we should be over two rows this way. If I keep going up here, although that line's disappearing now, so is it dead straight? All right, it's dead straight to the end. But the way it looked to me here, if you look 
and up the edge of that row you'll see it kicks over by one row that would leave one row of grass in there and that's and I hate that so anyway we'll send the worker off any time today stupid god you're a fucking idiot eh? fair dinkum It shits me. It shits me to pieces. Now, the worker already lined it up, so I shouldn't, as long as I don't touch the steering, it should be a dead straight line, regardless of the terrain. I say should be, because my faith in FS22 is all but gone anything you do. As much as I love the game, I hate it e equally. Let's get a scooby in here. Oh, Looks like it's going to behave. So it won't take long with this cultivator to actually complete this field and all we'll have to do is lime through the coming winter and, and I'm not going to replant um, until the turn of season so all our fields should be cultivated and limed state. We've got the stones out of it already so we don't have to ever do that again which took 12 months in game to actually do. So if the worker doesn't know what he's doing, he's going full retard. No idea. That's why I don't trust giant software programming. Mm, yeah. As good as the game is, it could be way much better. They're very amateuristic in a lot of ways. The idea of their game is good, but the rest of it, um, I'm going to stop bashing them now. So and I'll just run around with one headland and, um, and just get it right. Right to the borders. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yes, of course. Of course it would. It'll miss the tiniest little bit. Because that's what it does. Anyway. I'd like to get on with doing something different, but I'd, I have to complete this field. over on it so it's not little but it's not huge it's it's just probably big enough to to give a decent yield um, all of our grass fields are ready and we need to take grass over to a production line these are well and truly ready but I've got the horses in here all the horses in their own paddocks there so I wasn't going to cut the grass in there just for the realistic player that the horses would actually need grass to eat so you don't ever unless it's totally overgrown you you would never mow uh, horse paddocks because um, you're taking their food off them and unless you've got expensive horses and you grain feed them um, but mine aren't expensive horses and I basically only got horses for for the show um, of having horses on a farm, which is, you know, most farms have got at least a horse on it um, for the kids or for the daughter or whatever. Um, there's a good yield in all of this grass. It's, as you can see, it's a, 
it, it will give me a ton um, but I have got this one to do and I've got my L-shaped one up here which is ready hey, if I didn't stop him he wouldn't stop he would just keep going and he would just plow all the way to that silo straight ahead he just <laughs> you learn hard when they do that especially when they chop up a field that's ready for harvest and you don't get the harvest because he's just chopped it up to pieces it almost makes you want to throw your controller Sixty-four thousand. It's not not much money. Pretty soon I'll have so much money I won't know what to do with. Um, but while I'm still building this map and still creating it, um, I'm always going to be struggling for money until the duration of it being completely finished. Today I intend on um, creating the the lime quarry. I've already found where I'm going to put it out. I've already put a road out there, a sealed road, tarred road. I have a quick little sticky beak over there now. You're going to put it out over here. So this this will hook up to the sealed road. Man, that's a disappointment looking at that farm every time I look at it. So I've already sealed the road coming out. So. I sold some crop to actually um, afford to build the road out to here. So I'm probably going to have a T intersection come out about here somewhere. I'll just put a little marker pane down. So somewhere about here, I'll have like a T intersection out to about here somewhere. And we'll have a road that cuts up through here. And out, we'll have another road that will be mining up here so this will all be dirt and stuff all in there we'll have the bulldozer and all that up here and the diggers and all of that on this side of it as well um, and they'll be bringing it down all this here will be like a, a storage area for all the lime uh, we'll have rocks stored out over this way and also going to put around this side um, um, salt so we're going to be mining salt and storing that over here it'll all be coming from this this one mine split into three uh, with the road that comes out we'll have a little little offshoot road that will take us into the quarry and just through here we'll have a way station um, both for in and out so it'll be it'll be split the two lanes something like that so, I mean, this this is what I do. I just do guidelines before I build. I see where I want to put things, and then I picture how how it's going to look. And obviously, I'll be digging out the side of the hill here. I'll be painting more some of this, um, you know, and then I'll have to buy the stuff I want to want to put there in the mine. So um, that's the next project I'm going to do. Uh, very very shortly and it should work out fairly well and and that's the not the secret but that's the method that I use whenever I put buildings down or or placeables um, fields everything everything I put onto a map that I build that's the way that I do it you just put markers out and it's subject to change under your will at any time of course uh, but that's how I do it and so that was one of the biggest questions I was asked as well um, you know for instance marking this out you can see if you don't look at the actual finished road you can see how I've marked marked out an, an inner turnaround loop and then I've gone right well I can I can get a production chain around an outside loop so I, I made an outside loop and an inside loop and then I just looked at the buildings and figured what size implements am I going to bring into here and every now and again I bring the big triple road train in with three trailers on it so 
that's why this is the big wraparound um, and that gives me the wide berth to get the the three trailers around this way to come up so you know that's it's just like ideas what I do um, these pathways prime example of how I set up um, you know like even these tables and and you know like however I set up the building I'm not sure if I'm making myself clear if you understand me or not but that's that that's a prime example um, I wanted to put a footpath in I wanted to make a V for going that way and that way to the shopping centre I ended up putting a well in the middle a couple of trees around I thought they need picnic tables you know like it's just that you just create it like that um, you know you can see here like if you don't look at it finished I've gone okay it's a tight little narrow road I'll be bringing two or three trailers in I don't want to be turning hard left and hard right so to make it easier just ease a 45 degree angle into the yard and back out of it again and then I, I built it from there um, I fit that on that side of the 45 degree road I thought okay I'll put a, a milk silo this way and still ease it around with a dead straight out if I got three trailers on so I never have to try and squeeze through here with three trailers and make a left hand turn um, that's my third trailer is going to get hooked up across this fence here so I can just go straight out and I can still make a left hand turn this way so it's just like things like that they're not secrets it's just how I sort of like to I suppose just sort of a plan everything that I build by using that method and it seems to work for me um, just just a tip there to hopefully that answered your question on episode 12 I was asked that and not everything works out the first time so I don't usually have auto save on unless I'm doing harvest it's nothing worse than doing harvest and your game crash and you have to re-harvest all over again it's uh, it's not much fun so when I am building and spending a lot of money I, I usually don't have auto save on or save every 15 minutes or whatever generally not we're almost done here maybe two two maybe three at worst um, three more runs and we'll be done and we can just leave this field for next season we will wait till after uh, winter has come and gone or in America you guys call it fall and one two two more after this I'll probably just do it myself now instead of waste of money on wages with this guy but you don't have to think and follow lines um, you just set the end of it up with a small overlap and <laughs> just hit the circle button if you're on PS4 and send the worker on his way so there's big hilly lumpy bits here and that's why I stopped the field where I did just in case anyone was wondering why I didn't take the field all the way out and why I didn't take the field all the way out across to here is because I want bush through here with a track a track leading this way through the back of them so yeah just plan your plan everything out before before you do it and you you won't waste so much money I guess and second last run almost done do this myself and be done here you can see it's fairly steep so and what's nice about this field is that over from from home and you can overlook the um, the fields so 
and it's got a few benefits to it. I'll fold this away. I'm going to put this into a separate shed so I don't accidentally use it as a cultivator because it will destroy your map, especially if you use a if you use a worker on it and something happens you get sidetracked all the time in in this game so it, it will continue to go and destroy your map before you realize it just leave that there and cultivate is not too bad it um i really don't know well depending on how deep it would go in the ground but i think it's i think it's a bit big for the case uh, this is 435 horsepower, so um, I think it's a little bit big for case. As you can see, it's she's struggling a fraction. Now 435, and it, by the look of it, it's digging in pretty bloody deep. If we look at that, you can see it's digging in deep. These outer lines, I'm going to just do a quick little paint, paint trick. I mean, I don't have to, but if I want to if I want to tighten that row up, I can do it. I don't think I'll bother actually. I think I'll just leave it. It's it's all on a turn anyway, so I don't want to do any more field creation for for some time yet. When I unlock some more tiles over the other end of the map, I may do some more over there. Well, I guaranteed I will. Yeah, I guaranteed I'll put a lot more fields over in the direction I'm looking at but we have to buy those tiles yet and that's still going to be a long way off a few more seasons of harvest before we even get anywhere near the other side of the map so we've really only used a third of this map so far and it's pretty pretty dense and the bit I look forward to is Towards the end of the completion of the map is when all the residential goes down. That's that's the the most fun bit. The the uh, the imagination of people living on something that you built. That's the fun bit. want to make sure I get these bits of inland and I'll just shoot shoot back onto that there and there's a little bit over that side too and I've just got to cut in a little bit so no stones anymore it took it took so many hours to get rid of them that was this was one of the worst uh, builds I've done for stones. This map has got more stones than than Elm Creek. Uh, it was crazy. And you never go backwards in a cultivator. You just destroy them. And by rights, I'd have bent teeth and everything going on here. I would have absolutely just destroyed it. Um, the power you'll need to pull this is like big, big bud kind of thing, unless it's a shallow cultivate, which this isn't. So I think we'll just quickly spin around this way. We'll shoot back over here. clean up just clean up around here all right we got all that
this needs fuel and a good service as well. So we're going to use this for beats this tractor, so we'll have to service this as well. I guess that'll be about another eight to ten thousand dollars plus fuel. There's a little smidgen here. Whoa, hang on. Missed a little bit just back here. There it is. Sneaky. Very sneaky. That'd be going under the tractor now. I think we'll give this one a bit of a tub. I use this this uh, case for first person most of the time. In certain tractors that you use for first person, it's good to keep the windscreen clean. Because <laughs> it's hard to see. And we're almost done. There's a little bit up on this top corner. Probably half a row. Just over here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. We'll just drop it down here. And we'll just take one final look down to there because I know I've covered the rest of it, so. And we'll shoot this straight off to the workshop. Is it 4 p.m.? Oh, that bird just fell out of the sky. Really? Wow. I actually came to look at this patch on the ground. Right there. Missed a tiny bit. One speck. And I'm so methodic. I can't let that go. Because every time I look at the map, it will show up a speck, and I'll be like, how? I can't help myself. It's looking pretty good now. So fields don't take long to create when you use that method. safely fold this away now and we'll take it to the workshop and done oh, these are getting close they're not quite ready yet but they're getting close. We'll be able to get some pigs when we get that. We've got uh, potatoes, we'll have sunflowers growing, and sugar beets. So we also got production for cut sugar beets. And sugar we'll be able to make out of that, which means we can then start doing cakes from the bakery when, um, when we finish the completion of the bakery won't be today. There's so many things to do. We'll just leave this over the workshop and we'll bring the other one back. change down gear. Okay, we'll just leave her there. Turn the whirlies off. Let's give the windshield just a quick quick hit. And I'm not gonna service it right now. We'll leave that there till tomorrow. And we'll get this back. This is all nicely serviced, ready to roll. It's our feed trailer. And 
is this is one of only two large tractors in the game that have front end loader attachment to it. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. This and the seven series, eight series, no, seven series John Deere. Actually, we'll take the main road back to the farm, I guess. This is something I would have forgotten. I think we might do a quick grass cut. Um, we'll get the worker onto it anyway. And just let him do that. I think that might be ideal. I'm going to get him doing it right now. Uh, oh, here we go, we're going to save. Sure, there's a lot of production going on in this. <laughs> Look at it, it's just crazy. It has everything, absolutely everything. This will always be a disappointment to me. I, I think I will end up um, destroying it. I'm sure I will. I'll end up just deleting the whole, the whole bloody thing. They might need some straw, straw top up. <coughs> well, we can check the farm when I come back with the feed, feed trailer. I'm going to send the, I'm going to send him out to do this field. Let's make sure straw swathing is on. And it is. Because I don't want it scattered. Alright worker, off you go. Go and do your job. Okay, beautiful. I don't know I don't know how this is got any fertilization on it at all it just doesn't make any sense we've just created that field uh, makes no sense we created that one too and it's all speckled and whatnot and they were from the stones I don't I don't understand this game how it works sometimes it just doesn't seem to make sense <laughs> shopping centre, farmers market, they share a common service way for delivery, and all the foreshore over here, it's coming together pretty good this map, and for all in all I am, I am reasonably fairly happy with it, got the homestead up there, horse paddocks on the right, and the horse barn on the left, chickens, honey down the end, Let's see if there's any honey pellets, considering we're in flower time. So they should be out getting all the uh, pollen and nectar. Should be. And they spawn around the back here. None, okay. Um, all up over there is where I want residential, up behind um, that field that we can see there. That's my cornfield. But there's a road that'll run all the way across there and behind me, the way the camera's looking, that's the um, the quarry. So, and I want residential all, all up through here. So, all up the way that I was looking. There's so much to do, but I've got to buy all that land yet. There's another million dollars, of, oh, it's, what is it, 85,000 a lot. 850, yeah, there's over, over a million dollars still to earn just to buy more land. So, they have all the horses in the paddocks on their own. 
just for a little bit more realism you can have a maximum of four horses out and I have four paddocks um, this was my original grass field made all my money to start building this map on this field and extended it and which then led me to put down my first cow barn and then I started building the farm from there which branched out from there this is where it all began right here all began right here so you can have four horses out and I put one horse in each field they don't move they don't run they don't go anywhere they um, they just stand there and make it look like you know they're doing their thing you know, they'll stop their foot and whatnot it's about the best they do and we'll just put our feed trailer away and where's the John Deere here it is we'll take the John Deere out we'll go and pick up that grass and we'll take it straight over to the production um, to get more hay underway because if we don't the hay production will cease and we'll be left a little short so we'll go and start picking that up now and we'll drop the weight off just here that's where we always put it It actually belongs to the class. Uh, and we'll drop this fertilizer off too. I don't want that on the front. It's fairly heavy. Make sure the pickup wasn't seized or needed work. These baby bulls here, they're only calves, they're a month old. Let me just double check that, they are a month old, but you know, the chooks need some feed. But they're not in the red yet. Oh, they're two months now, that's right, because we had an extra day of harvest. So they're two months old. And when they get mature age, I'll take it out and I'll split half into here and half into the other cow paddock and we'll get some realistic, as realistic as we can get in farm sim, um, of breeding season and then I'll take them out at the end of breeding season and put them back in the pen up there and sell the other ones and just keep them on a, a rotation type basis. try to make this build as realistic as kind of possible um, I'm going to drop these off in a different different way I'm going to drop them off just here should unload now and we should be empty Wow, this needs another service. Is that empty? Yeah, that's empty. And obviously the lime pallets out here and the fertilizer pallets will have to go into storage uh, one of my storage sheds come winter uh, actually I'll just have a look at their straw ah they've got plenty they're right and yeah, we'll just have a quick look at their feed and silage getting low straw yeah, it's getting a bit short too. How's mineral feed? 67,000. No worries. That's still good for a couple of months yet. Uh, that's got to go to the workshop too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. You almost got my guts up. 
So I'm going to put the, the fertiliser in here in the first bay. That's my straw bay over there. I don't need to do any baling next season, that'll last quite a while, those bales. Put the pickup down and we'll pick this up, we'll take it straight over to the production chain and uh, hopefully we should get maybe three, four trailer loads out of here, which is more than what we need, well and truly. I don't know if I fertilise this actually, the yield isn't as high as I thought it might have been. Uh, that's alright. And we harvest that last month. And that was our corn. That worked out pretty well. A couple of comedy errors, but it worked out well. grass is rather boring, but it's uh, an acute necessary. It boots along that mower super fast. Man, that's a quick mower. He hasn't even turned around yet. He'll turn around and beat me up the end. It's mega fast. Lined up, tool down, go. <laughs> He'll beat me. <laughs> he comes. Oh dear. Go, go, go. Well, if we'll only just a little bit longer. <laughs> he sure would have. Very good. I'm a full trailer now. Um, actually, I'm going to put this in the in the silo, and I'll take a full load with the semi trailer instead of running back and forth into town and come all the way back again for three or four trips. I just do it all in the one. Just makes more sense drop it in here just to hold it for a bit. Oh, I really wish some motto would create an anti-collision camera like we had in FS19. That would be so, so helpful. Why Giant Software didn't include it in the standard game, I'll have no idea. Maybe they're just not skilled enough to create an anti-collision mod. Because they've never put one in any of their games. None of them. It was up to a modder to bring it into FS19. I suppose, whatever. I bash Giants a lot. But... It's not undeserved. Oh, he's got us this time for sure. <laughs> yeah, he's got us this time. Look at him go, look at him go. He's booting it. Missing all the grass. We're neck and neck. Beat me. Missed a little bit there. Oh, 
racing at all. What the hell? Not doing a good job today. now I guess We've got enough grass here anyway, just this field alone will give us uh, five trailers, so it usually does anyway, usually five full, full trailers, this is our second. It's 250,000 litres. Probably three more trailer, three more fields. Hundred. Actually, I think I'll take the load over now. I will take a hundred thousand plus whatever's in here, and that'll keep the hay going. And because the grass is completely out, and we're paying for that production. Even though it's not running, we're still paying for it just to, to be sitting there active. Um, even though it's idle, it's still costing every day. And if I don't do it, it'll be dark at 5pm. And it's um, quarter to five now, so... I'll put this over here so I remember that I have to finish the grass. But we're going to go down to the truck yard and we'll just pick up uh, just a single trailer and we'll run that over run the grass over now before it gets um, dark and this time of year it gets gets dark at about 5 p.m. so I'll just quickly jump down here come on thank you uh, here's the old truck yard here. There's our semi. Oh, whoa. I think I'll take the Scania. I'll take the Scania for a run. I haven't had this out for a while. And we'll just take a single trailer. that up better. Too far. There we go. Just drop it off at the dolly there. Just doubly make sure. Legs are all out, legs are up. Dolly's disconnected. Alright. Good to roll. Why are we sitting on 40? Oh, I used it for harvest, that's why. It's usually 
set for 60. The road train set for 40, sometimes 50, but usually 40. Uh, single trailer 60 and the rigid 70. And tractors can do whatever they can do, whatever their top speed is. I, I allow them to go full on. Fields are all empty now. It's good. We had a really good harvest. It's not over yet, but so far it's been a really good harvest. <clears throat> I want to get this load done before 5 p.m. game time. I think we'll stop this this uh, mid silo and. Just, um, just make sure there's no grass in it. We'll make sure there's nothing in it. Actually, I'd need it empty for the beets. So we'll just. Uh Get the drive wheels off, there we go. There's nothing in here so far. It should be empty. Yeah, the grass is gone. The straw's gone. And back to the beginning. Excellent. It's completely cleared out. Ready for the sugar beets. Should be about a hundred and well, there'll be a hundred thousand, but I think I think there's some grass in here that I've left in here previously. It might be one hundred and fifty-six thousand or so. I have a shot at. Uh, we've taken everything out. Okay, I've st I've stayed on top of that. I've been. Pretty well stayed on top of it. I think what we'll do is load it just in front of midway. Just load it in front of midway. And it should be okay weight wise. Now let me have a quick roll here. Oh no.